Hi. I get messages from time to time from people saying that you're trying to do things in Scan and Cut Canvas and that you're getting error messages and you don't know how to resolve the problem. So today I'm going to go through the PDF documents that are in Scan and Cut Canvas that will help you. So basically when you log into Scan and Cut Canvas this is what you should see. Up here on the top right hand corner, just before the word brother, you'll see a circle with a question mark. Now if you select that icon, it brings up this box. And the box is divided basically into two sections. This bottom section is all just very self-explanatory. So it's telling you what version of Canvas you're in, how to contact a brother, the privacy policy terms and conditions, takes you to their global website. But the top section here relates to help files. Now, um, it's the first one that we're going to look at, but I'm just going to uh, just run through these quickly. So the second one is the help files if you've got the rhinestone function and activated in Scan and Cut Canvas. The next one down is again the help files for the principal, principal sticker sheets or kit if you've got that activated. The um, next one down here, number four in the list if you like, is the wireless network setup. So if you've got the one of the new brother scan and cut machines that has the wireless connectivity, that's where you can find all your help and information there. The last one is a frequently asked question. So if you can't find anything in these four, have a look in this last one. But it's this top one, the help PDF. Now when you select that, it opens up a PDF document for you. And this basically is like your user manual for Scan and Cut Canvas. Um, it will, you know, gives you application features, basic steps for cutting and drawing. I'm just going to run through this fairly quickly because it's the error messages more than anything. I want to concentrate on in this video. So um, service requirements, how to use the, ma the main screen of Scan and Cut Canvas, starting a project, all sorts of things. Um, using the editing screen, <clears throat> getting ready to edit patterns, that kind of thing, layering, um, saving projects, how to download a project if you're unsure and you're new to Scan and Cut Canvas, you know, the ways that you can do it with a USB stick, etc., or wireless if you've got that connectivity on your machine, editing text, it's all here. Um, you just keep scrolling down, aligning patterns, how to align um, your items on your map, how to colour them, you know, with a stroke and with a fill. You've seen me do these in most of my videos that I've been doing now for two years. But it's all here in a document that you could actually print off if you want to and, you know, refer to it page by page. Image tracing, and it just goes on. Um, what the different functions mean. Quite, quite a few times people email me and ask me that. What's the difference between divide and remove or overlap or using subtract or weld? All the information is all here. And if you keep on scrolling down, how to create offset lines, uh, using the path icons, how to you know, edit the path icons. And then what we want to get to is page 28, what all the different icons mean in Scan and Cut Canvas. Um, and then eventually you'll get down to page 28 of the document and that covers error messages and the messages or the error codes are all here on this one page, page 28 and it gives you what the message says, a possible cause and tips for helping you understand how you can maybe put the problem right. So ERRS12 it says a part of the line overlaps other lines, slightly move the line and then try this operation again. It tells you what the possible cause of that may be and how to rectify it. 
Um, another error message that somebody asked me about recently was error S10. Now this says this image cannot be used. Image data that cannot be imported into Scan and Cut Canvas is being used. Convert the file to be imported into a format that's supported or reduce the size of the file to be imported. Now this happens a lot, this error S10 message. And I find from talking to people that send me messages either through my blog or leave me messages through my YouTube channel that what people are doing, they're finding an image file of some description. So let's say a JPEG or a bitmap and they're opening them, say, in something like Inkscape. And what they're doing is basically they're opening up this image file that they found on the net or they've already got on the computer. And they're just resaving the file, but giving it an SVG file extension. So that's all they're doing. They're not doing anything to the file. They've opened an image file and they're just literally resaving it, but changing its file format. And then because they've changed it to an SVG, they think that they can open it in Scan and Cut Canvas and then work with it or add to it or manipulate it. Whereas in actual fact, you've got to trace an image file. I did a blog post about this oh, maybe a year or two years ago. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, I will try and remember to link to the blog post directly underneath this video in the description box. And if you're a new Scan and Cut user or a new user to Canvas, it may be worthwhile you read in the post I did. It was quite a lengthy post and it explained all about what electronic cut files are and in comparison to image files. So this is one that comes up a lot. As I say, people just literally changing a file extension and not actually auto tracing or tracing the design to make it into a cut file. Another error message that somebody contacted me about some time ago is this error S24 message. And this one, this one says that the image stopped importing because the size is extremely small. Import the data again after changing the units of the or scale the design. Now this can work both ways. This and the one above it, error 23, um, is basically the same thing only in, in opposite. This error 23 is that the file is too large and this can happen if you're using files that you may have from previous cutting machines or you may have found on the internet that are in the DXF format. I know when I used to own a Puzzles Inspiration machine, sometimes when I brought DXF files into my Puzzles software, the files would come in absolutely huge, so big that they were actually unrecognisable sometimes and you didn't actually know that there was a 12 by 12 map behind the design, they were that big. So that's something else to bear in mind. Um, as I say, there are you know various error messages here. As I say, there are various error messages here, um, with all different explanations. <coughs> Excuse me. I um, have to apologise for my voice as well. I've had an awful cough for the last five, nearly six weeks, and over the last two or three weeks, have really been struggling with my voice and my cough. So I'm sorry if I sound maybe not as clear as I as I do normally. But anyway, going back to the error messages. So as I say, there are about 14 error messages here that are, li are likely to come up in Canvas when you're using it in ver varying pr projects that, that you're trying. So all the information is here, as I say, it will give you an explanation of what the error message is. It will give you a possible cause, sorry, and tips on how to rectify the problem. So 
I have, I think, covered this in a previous video, but because I keep getting messages asking me what these error messages mean, I thought I would literally just dedicate a, sh a quick short video to pointing you in the direction of where the help files are in Canvas so that you can hopefully try and rectify any issues that you may have while you're using Scan and Cut Canvas. So I hope you found that helpful. As I say, please go and have a look at this PDF document. Scroll down to page 28 and look at these error messages. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel and my videos, please subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.